All right, hello and welcome to this Axiom demo. Today I'm going to be showing you the Elevation tool. The Elevation tool was revamped in Axiom 2.0, uh, which added a whole bunch of options like custom height maps, fall off, and dynamics. So to begin with, I'm going to show you the basic usage of the tool, uh, and then I'm going to get into all of the individual options. So to get started with the tool, all you need to do is start holding down right click and moving your mouse. Uh, and the terrain that you brush over will get raised uh, or lowered or flattened uh, depending on which mode that you have. New in Axiom 2.0, the tool now supports custom height maps, which are a very, very powerful way of modifying the behavior of the tool. So if you click load height map here, you can see you're taken to this folder, which is in .minecraft config Axiom height maps. Uh, you can add your own height maps here, but Axiom by default provides you with a number here for you to play around with. Uh, let's go ahead and load the default Cerro Novato height map, which you can see looks like this. Uh, and if we start painting with this, you can see we end up with a far more uh, interesting result uh, because we're you know no longer painting with simple spheres. There's a lot more uh, depth to uh, the texture that we're creating uh, with this brush. Uh, additionally, if you just want to paint the whole Cerro Novato mountain, uh, you can, for example, set the radius here to 150, should be about right. And let's do apply once and set the amount to 100. Uh, by the way, to uh, modify these uh, sliders like this, uh, you control click. Not a lot of people know that, um, but yeah, any slider in Axiom, you can control click to enter an amount. All right. Anyways, if we click this, uh, you'll see that we very quickly get the Cerro Nevado Mountain. Uh, painted into the world. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm going to start going through the individual options. So uh, to begin with, there's the radius, uh, which as you may guess, just controls how wide the, uh, the tool is. Oh, let me switch this back to continuous. Uh, controls how, how wide the tool applies to. Uh, if you have a height map, it obviously gets scaled up and down to fit inside the radius that you specify. Uh, next up, we have the Y limit. Uh, let me quickly use freehand draw here to create an overhang. So one of the problems that height map based tools like the elevation tool have is that uh, if you essentially have an overhang, you can see that it kind of um, breaks because it's only working in 2D. So the solution that I added was this uh, Y limit slider. So if you ever have an overhang, you can decrease the Y limit and that allows you to uh, be able to paint underneath overhangs like this. Uh, if you're just painting out at the top, uh, which is most of the time, you can just simply leave the Y limit on the maximum here. All right, so next up we have the mode. So the default mode is raise, which brings the terrain up. Uh, other options include lower, which brings the terrain down here. You also have flatten, which will bring the terrain uh, up to the same point. So if I'm painting it here, you can see that it's bringing the blocks down here up and the blocks up here down. So it's flattening it to the point that I click on. Uh, there's also flatten up. Uh, which only does the lower part, so only the lower blocks here get raised. Uh, and of course, there's flatten down here, uh, which makes it so that only the blocks above get uh, lowered down. All right, next up there is smoothing. So smoothing is just a uh, post-process I do on the height map to make it uh, less jagged. So if I switch to the, um, the square fall off here, you can see that without any smoothing, you end up with a very, uh, very sharp edge here, uh, which in a lot of circumstances can make the terrain look unnatural. Uh, so with uh, smoothing enabled here, uh, you can see it kind of uh, limits the distance that the uh, blocks can travel. So you end up with a, a bit of a more uh, gentle curve here. So that's smoothing. Uh, next up we have dynamics, which I showed before. So the default mode is continuous. Right, which just continually applies. Uh, you can adjust the rates if you want to apply faster or slower, you can do so. There's also the once mode, which uh, essentially applies the tool only once for a particular uh, coordinate, which looks like this. Uh, this is useful if you want to, for example, just get a uh, you know simple peak at the top of a mountain. Um, 
and you want to have control over exactly how many blocks are there, you can use the once dynamic. Next up there is fall off. So fall off is basically a way to modify the, uh, the height map or the default tool uh, just very quickly to add uh, or to change the way that the tool, um, uh, the influence changes towards the edge. So uh, with the square fall off here, the influence is constant across the entire radius. Uh, but if you have the spherical one here, it falls off with a, uh, uh, it has a spherical fall off towards the edge here which looks like this. Uh, and just in general, you can kind of see the shape that it's going to make based on these images here. So this triangular one, uh, you're going to end up with more or less a triangular peak. Uh, this one here, you're gonna end up with a bit of a flatter peak towards the top, as you can see. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? You can, <laughs> you can see the images. Uh, and then lastly, there is the custom high maps, which I showed you at the beginning. Uh, this allows you to load uh, all sorts of custom height maps, uh, which is very, very powerful. Uh, let's load, for example, Pico di uh, Taran, what was it? Tansitaro. Uh, and yeah, this uh, essentially allows you to paint with these custom height maps, which just introduces uh, some nice complexity and variation uh, into the brush stroke, uh, which allows you to create uh, more interesting mountain ranges here uh, compared to if you just had the uh, uh, basic spherical fall off as you can see all right and uh, that is the elevation tool i hope you found this interesting i hope you find the tool useful and i will see you all later bye bye